Hello, and today we're going to have a look at uh, control surface with a difference, I guess. It's um, one you've already got, um, software-based instead of hardware-based, but with a difference. And you probably guessed, actually, looking at the laptop um, in the bottom right-hand corner, um, it's directly in front of me, um, I've got an Asus uh, ZenBook Duo with its second screen. Now, the way I've got it set up is uh, primary screen at the top, secondary screen below it, as you might imagine. And if I um, just fire up uh, Visual Studio, you can see this is my preferred workflow now. Um, I always tend to have the mixer on the bottom and then all my other windows either on the laptop or on a secondary screen um, elsewhere. But uh, for the purposes of this video, all on the, um, the laptop. Um, now, I like working this way, I must admit. I tend to, and it's, I've got there's different mixer settings here, which uh, you're probably familiar with. Um, compact, uh, various wide, wide alternate. Uh, but the one I like actually is extra large. Uh, because what you get then is the use of um, all your effects and you can bring these up. Um, and if you're careful with your finger, you can bring them up and you can close them down. Um, they're probably a little bit smaller than I'd like, but usable and you get the benefit of um, uh, having a nice compact layout. Um, not much else to say. Uh, there are several different um, Asus uh, ZenBook Duo devices. Um, they all work. This one is actually quite old. Um, dates back, I think, to 2019. I say quite old. It's quite old in uh, laptop terms, but certainly still does the job. It's got 16 gig of RAM. Um, i7 processor and uh, there's any number of Asus Duo devices new or second hand that you can pick up for a thousand pounds up to three thousand pounds for the top of the range um, uh, well worth having a look and seeing um, whether you might be able to get the same kind of use out of it uh, as me um, obviously what you get to do is do all your mixing with your finger uh, reasonably straightforward so change from a control surface but I've kind of like having it all in front of me like this. Um, um, I say with a finger, if you're using a Mac, you know, actually if you're using a Mac, you're not going to be using this laptop. Um, I still tend to use a mouse. I have a mouse behind me here. And you can see me moving it around there. And um, yeah, will I do this or will I do this? I think probably with a mixer, I tend to start off with my fingers and then I might do some fine adjustment. Um, with the mouse. Um, I tend to use the mouse for uh, the rest of the screen up here but no reason why I couldn't use my finger. Um, horses for courses. I'll just start this playing actually um, just so you can see it in all its glory. This isn't one of my songs, this is one of the demo songs uh, from FL Studio. I'm not quite sure how loud that is or how that, loud that will come out. Apologies if it was too loud. Anyway, um, that about wraps it up um, with what I want to show you today. Um, perhaps before I go, there are any other number of things you can do um, with this Mbook Duo. And what I might do is a secondary video that goes into a bit more detail. But to be honest, bang for your buck, out of the box day one with FL Studio or other doors that support multiple window interfaces. Uh, I'm not sure which ones do, but I know they're, they're out there. Um, you're looking for something where you can take your mixer and just spread it along the bottom there. Um, and there's there's plenty of flexibility. I mean, you can fiddle around with it if you want to. I tend to um, just leave it on full screen for a secondary screen. It does the job. Um, and as I say, um, in terms of um, the different layouts you've got up here, I find extra large to be the best because you have uh, so much more access. I guess with some of the others, and um, you've got a bit more um, control on the length of the faders, um, but I think um, extra large is a a nice compromise. Less um, fader uh, length, I think it's probably a word you can probably use, I don't know what it is, um, but you've got everything on there that um, you might want to access. Anyway, um, I'm waffling now. Thanks very much for your time. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, feel free to uh, leave me a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Thanks very much.